the zombie storyline has been around for 10 years. Damn, that's older than me. Uh, make sure to subscribe if it's if that's older than you as well. And the Black Ops 4 is so close that I can, I can, I can literally feel the Fortnite YouTubers who said that they're not part of this community anymore. Um, I can hear them returning to to slurp up the hype. No shade though, not even not even one piece of shade. I love you, Pat, but you did in fact say that zombies is the past, and you're not stuck in the past anymore. And you're moving on to bigger, but oh. anyway, anyway, so. A few months ago, I made a couple of videos talking about something because I really felt it. I really felt that this year with zombies being 10 years old, I really felt that they were going to finish, like, fully end the Aether storyline from World at War to Black Ops 4. And of course, that got more real when we had the Chaos storyline and stuff like that, and Jason Blundell saying they know where they want to take and end the Aether storyline. I really felt that was was gonna happen. Oh, and quickly, we did get this juicy picture yesterday. Pretty, I was about to say hot, but I um, <laughs> should probably not say that. <laughs> anyway, Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah, I no longer really feel that way. Like, you know when you have a feeling where you think, or you think that you know something is gonna happen, you have a gut feeling. I really had a gut feeling that Black Ops 4 would be the end. Now, something was brought up to me which completely changed my brain, and what that was is, what would what would Treyarch have to gain from full stop ending the Aether storyline? You know, it's like, it's a gamble with no payoff. You know, a gamble is risking something because there could be a big payoff, a big reward at the end. But what would Treyarch gain from ending the storyline? Now, I might be really selfish and stuck in the past, maybe, saying this, but I hope they don't end the Aether storyline for zombies. I hope Treyarch Zombies continues, maybe not forever because... I wouldn't even be around forever, but as long as possible, I think instead of just ending it, they should just continue it for as long as possible, and yes, run it into the ground. Once again, not everything lasts forever, not everything is going to be great forever. Look at The Walking Dead, for instance. People have been saying that's dead for ages, yet they're continuing, like, like, 10 hundred seasons. So yeah, if they continue the zombie storyline forever, it's obviously going to run out of content, not be as good as it was, COD might die itself, might just become another game. That, like no one cares about anymore might not be the number one game however i just i think that's more worth it as a fan and for treyarch and call of duty to continue it for as long as possible and yes run it into the ground make it hit the ground harder than a damn hippo back flipping off of a mountain because you might as well to be honest what if the new chaos storyline that maybe treyarch wants to make the storyline in the future what happens if that doesn't bang and Black Ops 4 is the end to the Aether storyline. Well, zombies would never be the same. Probably lose a lot of hardcore fans. People wouldn't be as interested. It wouldn't be what it once was. Once again, even maybe if the Chaos storyline does bang, maybe losing the original would push people away. Or what if, like the Black Ops past literally screams in our face, what happens if there's only four DLC maps for zombies and they're only the Chaos storyline. Is Blood of the Dead gonna end the storyline once forever? Is Classified gonna end it once and forever? Or, or, Eeyore, are they both gonna be left on cliffhangers and maybe opened up in Treyarch's next game? Maybe opened up in a year two of DLC? Or, if Black Ops 4 has four zombies maps and two different storylines, why can Treyarch's next game not as well? So as you can see, I just don't think it'd be a smart choice for anyone for the Aether storyline to just end. You know, I, I've said this as well before, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind if this Primus and Dr. Monty story ends. But once again, there's so many different places we could pick up and explore with new maps and new storylines. For example, for example, imagine if Shadows of Evil never existed in Black Ops 3. And imagine if it, it happened like in Black Ops 4 or 5. Or whatever Treyarch's next game is, and I know that's that's like light years away. But imagine if Shadows of Evil never existed, but it was for opening to a completely new storyline, a completely new corner, but was also connected to the Aether storyline. Because that's the thing, that's what Mob of the Dead was, that's what Shadows was, that's what the Transit storyline was. They were new storylines within the Aether storyline, so even if they did fail, they were connected to the overall Aether storyline, which the Chaos story isn't. So anyway lads, I'm not even sure what this video was, 
but it exists. So lads, tell me what you think below about anything or everything I said. And uh, the game will be in our hands in two days, so we'll be able to maybe Easter egg hunt, storyline hunt, and see what the hell is going on. So stay spicy, my lads, and I'll see you in the next one.